Okay guys, um, I have another video today for the 1992 Cherokee. So I got a couple parts from the junkyard today, I'm gonna throw them on. Um, first I got a new grill, since the one on it's messed up. A new tail light, a new center console thingy, lid, and um, a turn signal housing. So down here you can see that's messed up. Uh, that's kind of messed up. I'm gonna get a new um, thing here. Uh, the grill you can see it's seen better days. I was gonna get a bumper and that trim piece and a couple other things, but I didn't really have the money with me. Um, yeah, and the tail light back here. That one's seen better days. So first of all, we need to jumpstart this. Um, the person that wants to buy it when I'm done with it, uh, he wants videos of it running and stuff. So time to jumpstart it. Both Jeeps that I have, they're very hard to open up the hood. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to bring my actual camera and my tripod again, so... Uh, you'll have to deal with the phone footage, but it's time to jump start it. Well, yep, dying neutral safety switch. Neutral. There we go. This door is much easier to open than uh, my 97. Yeah, I need to get this thing fixed up. Okay, so on. I have battery voltage this time, so that's mint. Right here. There you go. Um, it doesn't have a cat, so... Uh, yeah, that's what the Jeep is supposed to sound like, and then... Over here, that's what mine sounds like with a misfire. Oh, there's my ratchet strap that fell off. Um, yeah. Yeah, by the way, do you like the battery hold down I have for this Jeep? It's completely factory. She was idling pretty high. Yeah, 1500. I don't know if it just normally does that when it's cold. It hasn't been started in like three weeks. Um, yeah. What else is there that I didn't show in the last video? Oh, yeah, it's starting, the idle is starting to come down. The heat and AC fan, now that thing. Ouch, that hurts my ears a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna let this battery charge up some. I feel like I'm gonna fall through the floor right here. But, yeah, that's gonna be fixed soon. But yeah, time to fix some stuff up. Okay, so first I'm gonna start off by doing the tail light. I think I got the right side, I hope I did. I completely forget. Um, yeah, that's right. Let's see if the trunk wants to stay, stay up. Um, Okay, that, yeah, that's good enough for me. That sounds... I like this. This sounds with like the... 
no cat and stock muffler. Sounds pretty decent. It's quiet, but has a ni nice like rumble to it. Um, so yeah, first, pretty much all it is is three um, 10 millimeter bolts. I wish I had a tripod with me. What's that? Oh. Oh, no, I never explored the trunk yet. So I don't know what's back here. There could be like a big pile of drugs for all I know. So hopefully there is. Like I could make a lot of money from this Jeep. Uh, more than like the 800 bucks I could sell it for if I fix up some of this stuff. Hay has been in here for so long it's turning into dirt. Uh, what's that? Uh, just a random piece of wire. Yeah, I need to take all this out, explore it, uh, clean the carpet, completely give this whole Jeep a full detail. But yeah, I'm going to come back when this is off. Okay, so all the bolts are out. Um, right before I started filming right now, I just hit my head on the trunk because the thingy don't work. So yeah, you pull this off, and then there's going to be four bulbs in here. All you do is just um, give them a little bit of a twist, and then they'll pop out. And then there's also a 7mm bolt holding in the wiring harness. Now, it's not fun to get out because like it's in such a tight spot that even like a quarter inch ratchet it gets pretty tight in there unless you have a swivel socket but my swivel is broken so I can't do that but yeah you just twist these off and I'll come back when I'm done so, um, yeah I have Chris fixed it out with the old and with the new Okay, I need to look back at the footage because either I'm stupid or this thing's being stupid. But, see, it has one, two, three, four, five holes. But there is one, two, three, four bulbs. Same thing on this side. So, I don't know what's happening, but something isn't right. But, yeah, I have no idea. I don't think I lost the bulb. Yeah, I have no idea, so I'm going to have to look back at the footage and see what happened. Okay, apparently this one doesn't have a bulb in it. I don't know if it's like that from the factory, or if this Jeep's just stupid. It has had the wiring messed with to put in the trailer hitch. You can see the harness back there, and then the one wire coming out there for it. But, yeah, I have no idea. That, that was really strange. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna get the rest of these in and come back when it's done. Okay, I'm tightening up this last bolt, and yeah, that's it. I put this thingy back on this thingy. I think I need it for one of the other things. I forget what it was, but... There. Now, I have two taillights that aren't broken. Mint. I was just playing around with this, and now the thingy doesn't make, like, horrendous noises. Um, it's up on high, has heat, it actually works. Either that, or it's just room temperature air, and my hands are so cold that I can't feel it, but... Yeah, let's take it for a little bit of a drive. It feels so much different than mine. Like, first of all, because it's stock. And, like, everything is so much more touchy, because... It's stock and doesn't have 33s on it. The brakes, on the other hand, there. I don't know what that was, but something just fell. Like the big branch on the roof. But like, this is so much easier to turn. It's so weird. But I'm debating on keeping this as a daily. I really like the feel of it. Now I know why people like the pre 97 XJ. Like, it rides really nice. I'm gonna go get a flexing picture um, with my Jeep on this Jeep if I can. 
turn the steering wheel. Yeah, that's that doesn't stick off far enough. So that's not gonna work. And I'll still get a picture of them next to each other. Before I get the picture, I'm actually gonna fix up the grill and put in a new turn signal housing to make it look a little bit nicer. Um, looks okay. Yeah, that's that's perfect. But like, yeah, there's just chunks falling off of it. I'm gonna cut myself if I try any harder. But like this whole bottom thing, the whole grill itself will need to be replaced, but. This will make it look better just for now and hold it together a little better. So, this might take a little while to get all the screws out. Um, does anybody want a lightly used Jeep grill? Came off of a 1992 Cherokee. Um, you can get it for me. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe 250 bucks for that. Um, since my new one's going to be way better. It's like twice the size but yeah let's put it on all it is are just a bunch of phillips head uh screws and i kind of have to hold it up and support it at the same time so i can't really film this without a tripod so sorry about that okay well i'm testing the flex of both my jeeps um yeah obviously that one's a slightly bit better um full tuck right here um, yeah, that's pretty big space. I'm a size, like, 12 and a half shoe, I think. Um, yeah. Fully tucked up here, too, or just about. Almost fully tucked up here with this cute little Jeep. Okay, so I got the grill on, and I was to put this on while I'm at it, but I don't know what Jeep makes the, um the header panel out of like it's fiberglass but for some reason um the bolt snapped on here getting them out on this and it did the same thing in the junkyard with the other with the 93 that i took them from so i don't know what's up with that like it's pretty much just going into plastic i don't know what holds it on wow this heat's like amazing i wish mine had heat this good Transfer case works. Okay, let's say that doesn't work. There. It doesn't. Yeah, that's getting really tough to pull. So I might need an aftermarket uh, thing, but I can get into four high. But with, I don't need four low as much with the little tires on a Jeep like this compared to stock gearing and everything on a Jeep like that. Yeah, this is probably the best 200 bucks I've ever spent. Um, I'm buying another $200 project, hopefully. That was tough to get in. Um, hopefully soon. Oh, man, for low, that's a little bit touchy. But, yeah, I only have one more thing to fix on my 92, and that is the center console lid. So this might be a kind of a long video today, but oh well. Um, where did the bolt? Oh, I put the bolts in here for it. So, first of all, looks like it broke off of the old one and it's nowhere to be seen. Um, so I'm just gonna take off the hinge from here and then the hinge is already on here, so I'll just do that. Unless, do I have to, I might have to align it and I don't wanna do that, so. You know, whatever, I don't care. I'm just, I'm already doing this. Okay, the old hinges off. And I'm like almost sweating in here, it's so hot. Um, meanwhile, in mine, the heat hardly works. And I flushed the cooling system and everything, so. Huh. 
And I was just complaining to myself about how I left my screwdriver at the junkyard, but look what I found in this Jeep. It's like almost the same as that screwdriver. So, it's mint. But yeah, I can't, I can't really do this with one hand, so I'm gonna um, align this and start tightening it down and then start the video up a little bit later. My phone died, so I'm charging it in uh, my green Jeep. So I put in the center console and uh, apparently you don't, you don't have to align it and everything like you have to do in this Jeep, so that's nice. And right now I am honestly thinking of transferring my lift and tires and maybe a couple other things from this Jeep onto that Jeep. Like this only has 113,000, this set, that has 218,000, so it's almost double. But honestly, this that Jeep is so much better than mine. It has so much less mechanical issues. It's more like physical issues that I have. Um, so yeah, I'm honestly debating on transferring all this stuff from this Jeep onto that. So um, if you made it this far in the video, uh, first of all. Um, thanks. Second of all, um, what do you think I should do? Like, this is a 97, it, it's like, way newer, like five years newer than that one, um, and, yeah, <laughs> I don't really know what else to say, but I'm done with this video for today, so if you liked it, remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.